Are you here? They are there. It reminds me of the first era of bread of life. Yes, when we sir. started bread of life up here. Up here, here. Yes, sir. So but when I hear the drum, the reason why I didn't stop the because I was saying thank you. Jesus. I used to play drum there too. Yeah. The vision of this ministry came when I was playing instrument in bread of life. Mm. I play keyboard and I play drum. So when he came here too, that is why humility can take you. My mother used to say, Oh, that name, my younger was fully young. You know, that is my song. Every service, I always say, Please clap for the man of God. Hallelujah. My mother is here too. Yes, sir. 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 service is very special. Amen. So, I want to use this opportunity to at least one minute of greeting, maybe prayer for you from my brother, Major First Person, I can, I can continue. Amen. 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 Once again, please can you celebrate this segment? Please, if you don't do him well, we send him to Canada. Can you celebrate your program? Amen. Amen. I just want to open your eye to a few things. In this ground, God has done it for many people. And your own is next. And you might have seen one or two testimonies before now. But I want to assure you that that is just the beginning. Amen. 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 Lift up your hand above your head and pray this prayer. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my coming here, my coming here, can never be in vain. Can never be in vain. The reason for me, the reason for me to be part of this ministry, to be part of this ministry, can never be in vain. Can never be in vain. Make it a prayer for the Lord. Take your seat quickly once again. Amos three seven. Can someone read quickly? Amos 3.7. Let us see some people here quickly. Amos 3.7. Amos 3.7. Anyone there? Are you there? Amos 3.7. If you are there, you can read for us quickly because of our time. I read. Amos 3.7. Alright, alright. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. The Lord God will do nothing, but he will reveal the secret unto his servant the prophet. Now, the Bible says, surely the Lord God will do nothing until he revealed the secret to his servant, Prophet Samuel. Mm, yes, sir. Yes. Now, he will not do anything until he reveal to your prophet. There are many of you here on countless occasions you can agree together with me that in midnight when you are sleeping, you can receive a call from your prophet. Ma, sir, get up and begin to pray. Yes. 
Is it like that at all? There are some of you who wake up some kind of morning like that, you receive a message from your prophet just like that. Am I talking to somebody now? But on your way home, after some meeting, some person said, what do you see in that small boy that make you fellowship in that particular place? It has been a question they are asking you, an argument that you have been going through. But the question here is, the Bible said the Lord God does nothing. The same person claiming maturity don't know the time of your trouble. But any time you are in trouble, the Lord will use his servant, Prophet Samuel, to intervene in your case and in your matter. Yes. Am I talking to somebody here right now? Yes, what does it mean that the Lord God does nothing until he reveals the secret? The word nothing there means nothing until you. I hear from that prophet. It's nothing until I put an end to that particular trouble. Now, another thing I want you to still figure out from a situation when you are around the prophet is this. Please, don't know the prophet for knowing sake. Know the prophet for your benefit. Yes, it is possible to be part of this ministry and not have a testimony. And it is possible for people who just come to the ministry today, they receive their testimony, they begin to even encourage you that have been in the ministry for years. You know the reason why? There is something they call familiarity with the prophet. Your prophet can be playing and be joking with you, laughing along with you, but in every laugh, please, can you take something serious? Please, in every joke, can you take that your word serious? Am I coming? He's not even aware that I'm coming here today. Even me myself, I'm not even aware that I'm coming here, but I know I'm coming. I know it's a big word for somebody who don't understand the things of the spirit now. Even me myself, I'm not that way, but I know that I'm coming. So if you don't understand, you meet me in my class later. And you know the class we meet in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord God will do nothing until he reveals that secret to the servant, the prophet. You see that your tribe that you are training there, there is, there is something that God needed from you and a word from his prophet through your, to your life in order for your children to succeed. And that word has been coming down on countless occasions, but I never want you to be familiar with that word one day. Am I talking to somebody here at all? Time may not permit me, I only have one minute to leave here. The Bible speaking in second, is, is it second King chapter 4 and verse 8? The Bible said, They cried a certain woman unto Elijah. And the woman said, My husband, your servant, is dead. But the creditor has come to take my children from me. The children are innocent. But the creditor did not go to arrest the children. They did not go to arrest the wife. They go for the children that should grow up to build their mother out of the trouble. So there are many of you under the sound of my voice. Enemies are fighting you because you are the one that will save your family and you are going to save your family. At all. Yes. Please take your seat quickly. I want to ask you a question now. The man was the servant of the prophet, but the man died with poverty. Yes. The wife ran to the same prophet that the man served, and the prophet gave one instruction, and the life turned around. If there is any favor you will do to yourself, is that any time a, a prophecy or an instruction comes from God's servant, don't take it as a play. Don't take it as a joke. Don't take it as anything. God's servant will tell you that if you are coming to next meeting, please ensure that you win one soul. Some of you take it that it's trying to gain popularity. No, then you ask yourself question. Then what is the importance of him going down from one place to another to preach the word of God? In other words, he wants to meet up with the target that the enemy cannot be able to hold him. What was the instruction that delivered the woman together with the children? He said, what do you have in your house? And the woman said, I just have ordinary oil. He said, go and lock yourself. Borrow vessels from your neighbor. Lock up yourself and begin to pour. That was what ended the trouble of the woman. Why is it that the same prophet cannot save that man until the man died? The man became familiar with the activities of the church. The man said, I know that on, on Friday like this we do gather, so let me wait for next meeting. The man continued to be giving death until an enemy captured him. The best thing God can do to a man is to give a man a prophet. When God answered the prayer of Israel, he did not come down to answer them. He sent them a man called Samuel. Yes. I 
know you are seeing. You, I don't want to say Moses now. Show me Moses. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. The Lord gave you a prophet called Samuel. That was the answer prayer to the children of Israel. Yes. And via that particular prophet, they begin to overcome. And then the question I want to ask you now is that there are many of you when prophecy come to you, you go to a pastor to go and confirm the prophecy. I want to change something in your character in this meeting that you attended. Some of you said, let me meet that prophet for a confirmation. I want to change something from you. A double-minded person is unstable in all his way. Anytime you become double-minded, a miracle that should happen in one week can take you in one year. So learn how to stabilize on the ground of the voice of your prophet. Is God talking to somebody here with us? Yes, sir. Is God talking to somebody here with us? Yes, sir. The man of God, the prophet may not be matured to you, but that is whom God chooses to use. Mm. The prophet may be a small boy, it might not even up to your last born, but that is whom God chooses to use. And when God begins to use him, you begin to see the manifestation. Beyond doubt, beyond your imagination, you begin to see it. As said, let us go to now to the prophetic ministry. Why your prophet will say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Receive this in the name of Jesus, and you return back to now, begin to now testify. I want to begin to ask you a question now. Anything God used the prophet to do, don't ask a pastor for the interpretation, because it's beyond pastoral imagination. I will explain. Let me open up something to you now. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do what? What happened to the apostle? What happened to the teacher? What happened to the pastor? What happened to the evangelist? Why the prophet? There is a security there. The Bible said the Lord God does nothing until he reveals the secret to who? No, the pastor. The evangelist. The prophetess. Who does he reveal to? The servant. Prophet Samuel. Are you still following at all? Now, Moses spoke with God in the secret. When Moses came back, the Lord said unto Moses, Carry a staff. How many of you know a staff? A staff is like a stick. He said, Drop it and it becomes a snake. Let me assume that I drop this paper and it becomes a snake here. How many of you can still believe your prophecy? So, when they are talking about believing prophet, they are talking about your whole entire being beyond what any human being on earth can be able to say. The same prophet came before the rest, they begin to cry. The same man of God, how are we going to cross this rest? He said, Calm down. He said, Thou shalt hold thy peace. That is it. I think Exodus 14 14. He said, Thou shalt hold thy peace, and the Lord shall fight for you. Within a blink of an eye, what happened? The rest became divided. So if you are to tell a pastor to now to analyze the miracle that happened there, what is he going to say about that? The same time again, the pillars of cloud became the light that was guiding them. A lot of miracles begin to happen and some persons try to discourage you. Woman, please, can you wake up and follow your prophet like a normal business? Because your prophet is your prophet. Am I talking to somebody here? What I your prophet is what? Your prophet. Anytime you come to the house of God, please, I don't just want you to be a, a, just a member. Please become a worker in the ministry. Become a worker. You hear me? Even if you have nothing to do, just tell your neighbor about what God is doing in the ministry is enough. It's God speaking to anybody here at all. Yes. And via that particular place, you can have your mega benefit. When I was a drummer in Donamite, I never knew that my mom is going to be a Donamite one day. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So I want you to open your eyes. This is not my church. No, but this is your ministry. There is something God has time for your future, time for your career. The other man were in that church until the man died. But the man never had the, the, that thing that took him to that place. But when the wife come, the wife discovered it. The wife wrote to the prophet and said, Prophet, I know your God can do this thing. Prophet, tell me, don't hide anything from me. Have you come, are you a member to a point your prophet can tell you the mind of God and not be afraid? Because there are some certain things the prophet wants to say. He will think of how are you going to feel. We have no option than to withdraw from them. And every answer to every generation is in the mouth of the prophet. Is 
God speaking to anyone here and there? Is God speaking to anyone here and there? Yes. Your prophet will tell you, say, sometime come to the church, just come and cry to God. Some person just say that, I does that mean I don't have a better place? Your house can be tied. Your room can be painted. You may even think that your room is beautiful more than that. But a carnal man cannot understand the things of the spirit. When you come to this particular place, this is a place where you have an encounter with angel. That is a place where you have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. That is a place where you, you, you have an encounter with what they call the prophetic mission. So anytime you come here and you begin to fellowship, there are angels that come to remove loads from you. They say, my daughter, this load that you carry, you are about to run and leave the marriage because why? You try to respect the man, it become a problem. You try to do this one, it become a problem. You think of what to do, that thing to do, that thing to do. Nothing is not working out. But at the process of your fellowship, it can turn that your marriage to become a grand of Mary. Yeah. So I don't want you to take anything for granted as you fellowship on this particular ground with your whole mind and with your whole heart. Am I talking to somebody here at all? I can if he can never be with Mike, and then I will say I'm a prophet or I'm a pastor, and then let me underrate the ocean that he carry. God forbid. The moment he hands to the mic, the host of heaven is pulling something that I have not seen before. Because the Bible says they are new every morning. So they, you can't compare yesterday meeting with today meeting. They are new every morning. Even those of you that attend today's program, you never knew that I was coming. But something new happened to me. Am I talking to somebody here at all? Something new happened. If you said no, I will tell you that another person played wrong today. Something new happen. As I'm driving my car going home, I begin to remind God, Lord, can you bless me if the Lord say no, but can I say, but I just play drum for you. Lord, can you please reward me in one area of the church that I come? So the reason why we don't come to church late is that I want to be the person that clean chair for other people to see that because it is a secret that I know that you don't know. The difference between the rich man and the poor man is a secret that they discover. If not, a rich man and a poor man use the same time, the same hour, the same night, the same daybreak, the same moon, and the same sun. What makes the difference is just a secret that they discover that you have not discovered. I was privileged to be in Lagos State and I saw a, a, a rich man, a big man came with his convoy with all the police and security guiding him, he tell them to wait for him. Right at the prayer mountain where we are kneeling down, praying and calling upon God, this man with his white abada went flat on the ground and began to call God names. As he was calling God names, he was rotating in that particular place there. With all the security that guide him at that particular point, he still reference God. But let me return you back to something. What can you become in life without this God? In John chapter 1 and in verse 1, it says, In the beginning was this word, and the word is with God, and the word was God. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible says, Without him, there is nothing made that was made. So if you are talking about you have this God, the same God speaking in Second Chronicle 2020, say, Believe in me, I will establish you. But if you really want to succeed, you really want to prosper, you want your children to prosper, he said, Believe in my prophet, and you shall prosper. I can only establish you, but what will prosper you, I have given it to my prophet. So look for that, my prophet, somewhere. Allow him to pray for you to anoint you. Don't follow the instruction and doors are going to be open. Hey, hey. Have you not heard this before? Psalm 127. He said, Until the Lord builded a house, the builder built it in vain that built it. Until the Lord trained up a child, the trainer of the child, he trained the child in vain. Until the Lord married for a man, the man who married, he married in vain. So there are people that have trained their children to abroad to whatever, but because the Lord was not involved, they returned back as a smoker and as a drunker and as a headache to their parents. And they begin to wonder. And they say, they say, they say, what really happened? Here 
Anytime you try the God, nothing happened. The Lord said, believe in your prophet and thou shalt prosper. So until the Lord built a man, no matter what you are building, until the Lord built your business, no matter what you think you are building, until the Lord established you, no matter how you think you are being established, you establish yourself in vain. If there is any cry, you are going to cry, Lord, I am sorry, have your way in my life and in my plan. I cannot do this all alone. Lord, I have tried to do this thing all by myself. The Bible says, for it's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Spirit. So whatever thing you are looking for, there is a backup spirit, and that spirit is the Holy Ghost. And by that time, God wants to communicate with the prophet, you cannot be there. There is a man called Uzziah. When, 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 when Ezekiah is about to die, the, 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 Isaiah delivered the message to me, say Ezekiah, put your house in order for you are about to die. And the moment that message read to him, he returned back to God and covered his face on the wall and begin to remind God. He said, didn't I build your church? He said, am I not the one that tied the altar? When I don't have anything at all, the chair, the members are sitting down, am I not the one that put the chair? Why do you want me to die now? Why do you want me to lose my child? Why do you want me to be buried now? And the Lord looked at him and the Lord said, true to you cannot die now. And the Lord returned back, the Lord returned back to Isaiah. And the Lord went and tell Isaiah, and Isaiah go and deliver that message again. Go and tell them my son that I have had extra 15 years. The same God that gave a permission that death should carry the man. The same God in the same time return back to the prophet and tell the prophet, go and tell the same man, I have had extra 15 years. Amen. Let me open up something to you. There is something about prophecy that a lot of you don't understand. Man of God, you prophesied to me last year that this thing is about to happen. I have not seen the thing happen. You are the one that is not connected to your prophet enough. Because the, the same prophet that went and told the man, the Lord said, put your house in order, you shall die. It is the same prophet that the Lord went and steamed it and said, I have had extra 15 years. I, I know you are not getting my message. I know you are not understanding my message. But man of God, he told me that this thing that is about to happen, this is going to happen, and it does not happen like that. Man of God, does that mean that God has become a liar? God is not a liar. The problem you have with the man of God is that you are not close enough for him to deliver the full message to you. Because when Isaiah returned back, the Lord went and tell Isaiah again. He said, I will not answer this man until you return back to the man. He did not understand that revelation. It was it was the man who told God, I don't want to die. The Lord said, I have answered you, but Isaiah, go and deliver the message. I will not do anything until I review the secret to the servant, my prophet. So there are things God has set as an agenda that it must happen this year. And it's going to happen for good, happen for your success, happen for everything to make your life balanced. But that can only become a reality when you take your prophet serious. That can only become a reality when you believe in the voice of your prophet. I remember a man who called some years ago. He's a big man anyway. And then he was standing together with the boys. And I told the man, run across and go and buy oil. He said, can I give my boy money? He's a custom officer. Can I? He's a very fat man. He said, can I send my boy? I said, no, you are the one that will run. Mm -hmm. The man ran across the road and bought the oil by himself. And I said, anoint your child around you there. The child begin to vomit water and the child begin to, to, to confess. I'm the one that did this to your wife, to your child. This is my assignment and everything. While the man was traveling to the village, look at the man going about to enter the house, something to hold the car. And that was when the child began to confess. I am on the mission to kill you, but my heart cannot touch you again. That run, the man run, that time was the only thing that saved him from the hand of the enemy. So, do you believe your prophet enough to a point that you, you are already on the vehicle? Maybe let me assume you are on your way going to like um, Abuja, and then you are around that kind of, um, how should I put it? You are around that Nasarawa, and you receive a call for your prophet. Hello, ma, where are you? 
You said you are your way to uh, to to Abuja. It's okay. Step down from the canary Domba. Hey. How many of you believe your prophet to that dimension? The, the same man whom God wants to use to save you is the same man that tell you return back from that place. Some of us, we argued and it turned on our head. Come to a point and understand the difference between the prophetic ministry. Last but not the least comes here. Some of you take it like it's a mistake that you people are doing. You don't know. And my prophet has prophesied to me, but I need to confirm it somewhere. And the virtue on the ground of confirmation means you don't believe. And the moment you begin to doubt, you become unstable the member. Hello, somebody. Hi. Hello, somebody. Hi. If what I'm telling you does not make sense to you, just try to leave your chair. Go and stand at the back. They'll be hearing the message. You will see God will bring a new person that is not the member of this place. The person will walk straight to come and sit down in that particular chair. Mm. It will not be any other chair. That same chair that you stood from. And then what is the Lord trying to tell you? Plus you, minus you, I will build my church. So come to a level that you think yourself that you are a nobody in the house of God. Come to a kind of a place whereby you are not looking for a personal respect in the house of God again. Lord, I come in for you. Lord, I come here to serve you. Lord, it is your house. I come to build your house. I come to flesh with you. Lord, we organize my life and my destiny. And I bet you by the virtue of this, you are going to have a mega evidence in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Are you blessed at all? Yes, sir. Are you blessed at all? Yes, sir. If you need your prophet with an answer, please follow your prophet at all costs. You know, some of you say that um, the, the man of God here, God, no, sometimes your prophet can come to and say, Madam, this problem is over. The prophet did not hear God. He just said, this problem is over. And guess what? The problem is going to be over. Amen. You know why? You know why? You know why? You know why? For the sake the prophet has spoken, the Lord will do anything possible to bring it to pass. And that can only work when you take your prophet serious. Now, whether you believe in the prophet or you do not believe in the prophet, only that respect that you have for the prophet, you can contact the blessing of the prophet. Am I talking to somebody now? Yes, when you read from that, uh, how they say, sh should I start from that verse 8? All right, let's start from the verse 8 of that second King chapter 4. The Bible says, and it came to part that the man said, I perceive that this is the holy man of God that passed through my vicinity. Let me build a chamber for him so that at least any time night meet him, he might be able to lie and sleep and then to pray. Elisha said, this woman, you cannot do this thing and go. He called the boy. You see, what is the problem of this woman? The boy was like skipping. He said, okay, madam, do you want me to connect you with the king? And, and be, be, be. The old man said, I am among my king's men. My problem is not just money. I am okay, man of God. I am not doing this thing for you. I am just doing it because I perceive you are a man of God. And then Elisha said, okay, according to the time of life, by this time next year, you shall have a son. And the woman said, man of God, please don't deceive me. In other words, she has received that kind of a prophecy for love. But the only thing that God has been waiting for to release for the destiny of that woman is to see the woman supporting the ministry of Elisha. According when that time came, the woman became pregnant. The woman gave birth to that particular child and record were broken. The woman said that my husband is old and I am already old. But the baby came not because of the woman. It came because the prophet has spoken. As God's servant will step in to declare upon your life. Any single word that will come to your life will begin to seal the news. You know, so many people say God asked um, Abraham to give his only child. Is that Genesis 22? Genesis 22. But let me open your eyes to something. The Lord does not require Isaac for Isaac purpose. I will explain to you. 
When you read Genesis chapter 12, the Bible says, The Lord said unto Abraham, Leave your father's house, your father's kindred to the land I'm going to show you. Is it true? When you enter Genesis chapter 13, the Bible says, And the Lord bless him. When Abraham and Lot were about to separate, the Lord said, As far as you can see, the Lord bless you with cattle. Check your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. There is no area that Abraham gave God the sacrifice. Abraham was a man of a prayer, but Abraham was not a man who sacrificed. The first time that the angel appeared to him and they said Sarah shall become pregnant was when Abraham carried a plate of a meal and gave to an angel, but he never knew that they were angels. And they said, because of this, your wife Sarah shall become pregnant. Even Sarah to laugh. Yes, we are not just following now. Yes, Hold on. When God tell him to bring Isaac, the moment they took Isaac to the mountain to be slaughtered, the same God who tell him to kill Isaac, he says, stop that. Check your right. When he checked the right, he saw a ram there. He said, At this day you give me a ram, I will not request the head of your son. Hey. At this day you give me a cow, I will not request the head of your son. Anything you are doing in the house of God, you are securing destiny of your children, yeah. destiny of your husband, yeah. free choice of everything that concerns you. Yeah. I am here to encourage you. Please don't do that. There is something God is doing to that little thing you think you are doing. Please don't do that. There is a mega thing God is doing. Please don't give up. There is something God is doing that you cannot be able to get. Is it not the same hospital bed where other people lie down and it become their end? That you, you lie down and you return back and you are strong like this. Is it not the same hospital bed where other people go and they are all finished? Even when they return back, they are not normal again. And your own came and you are still normal like this. Is it not the same accident that other people have and it become a problem for them when your own occur, you are still walking normal, you are still eating normal. Let us come to reality of life together with God. Who tell you that your service is not benefiting? The reason why they want to make sure that they remove you is that one. If you want to kill a fish, don't stab the fish. Just remove the fish from water. You will die on its own. The reason why they don't want you to remain in the prophetic ministry now, they want to remove you so that they can kill you. Yes, Fire. I come again. Fire. When you want to kill a fish, don't use a dagger. Don't use a knife. Just remove the fish from the water and see. The fish will stay by itself and die. And the fish will not just die immediately. It will begin to die slowly until it completely dies. Check all the people who discourage you. But that time they discourage you, check your prayer life and when you are connected. So maintain your prayer life. Maintain that fire. Block your ear and focus on what you saw, what you understand. If they are the one that understand it, they will come to this ministry better than you do. Are you blessed at all? Yes, sir. I said, are you blessed at all? Yes, sir. God's servant is not around, but he gave an instruction. The strength of every prophet lies on the instruction. Neman, go and dip yourself in Jordan how many times? Seven times. Did the prophet follow him to that place? No. Did the prophet went and baptized him there? No. Did the prophet went and blessed the water for him? No. What happened? Just one instruction. Transform the life and all that concerns his life. I don't know the problem that brings you. Maybe your child, maybe your marriage or whatever. Maybe you are believing God for the foot of the womb or you are building and suddenly an enemy put an end for that particular project. I don't know what God does come over your husband that he no longer focus on destiny again and the kind of a life that he's living is a life that can turn you people upside down overnight. It's not the fault of the man. There is a spirit that is controlling that. But I am here to announce to you as God's servant we have come to the man to the, to the pulpit now to begin to declare upon your life I am here to announce every problem is going to be totally resolved. I said, I did not say one. Just like the woman who come to the meeting crying and saying you are about to be disgraced because of the debt you are holding. Forget about the debt. Well, let me open up your eyes. It's not the debt that matter. It is Jesus that matter now. There is somebody Jesus brought in your way to declare upon your life. And that person is called Prophet Samuel. It's not me. I only come to pass. You might not see me here tomorrow. But the person God wants to use is a set man called Prophet Samuel. And there are some of you when, when a guest minister comes, you 
tell you the guest minister more than the said man. No, I only come to pass. I only come to give you a message. But there is a man who is always available for you. That when you call him, he will pick your call to pray for you. That is your prophet. But by the time you will climb this people to declare, I just want to assure you of two things. Number one, that problem is going to be defeated automatically. No, the problem will not just be solved. The Lord will solve the problem and you shall have enough to show to your neighbor that look at what the Lord has done. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to stand on this ground. I want you to stand on your feet wherever you are. I want you to lift up your hand and prove your head. How many days does it take God to create heaven and earth? It takes God six days to create heaven and earth. And how many minutes will it take you? How many minutes will it take God to turn your life and story around? It's not up to a minute with the blink of an eye. Your story can still change again. Am I talking to somebody here at all? How many seconds is it going to take on? It's just a minute. Begin to talk to God. Lord, I believe you can use prophet somewhere to turn my life around. Lord, I believe, I believe. I think he's a small man, but you that selected him, you know why you select him. You know why you appoint him, you know why you anoint him. Please, can you begin to talk to God about the serpent that he selected for you? Can you begin to talk to God about the person that he appointed for your case? Can you begin to tell God that, Lord, I really believe in Prophet Samuel. Lord, I believe in Prophet Samuel. I am ready to stand by him. I cannot allow the prophet to go down. I cannot allow his ministry to scatter. Begin to talk to God by the virtue of that. Your life, destiny, all begin to be put by himself. <laughs> talk to God quickly. Talk to God quickly. Talk to God quickly. We are already out of time. Talk to God quickly. Lord, I believe in your prophet. As he begin to do the declaration for you. Of the mention of the